Greetings and welcome to the Transform Podcast. I'm your host, Christopher Anastasio. It is Tuesday, October 18th, 2022, and this is episode 94. Welcome back, guys. Uh, first off, let me apologize. We haven't published an episode now in 11 days, so this is the 11th day since we last uh, published an episode. Basically missed all of last week. Uh, that's uh, something we really try to avoid doing. Uh, really try to get you guys two episodes a week, or at worst, one episode a week. And I think last week was the second time uh, that we've gone an entire week without uh, without publishing an episode. So definitely want to apologize to you guys for that. We like to keep the content coming to you guys. Um, you know, even if there isn't you know some aha thing that we want to deliver to you guys, it's kind of a chance for us to check in, talk marketing, talk about strategy, tactics, things like that, update you on ones we've talked about in the past, things of that nature. So just kind of want to get that out of the way, guys. Um, as, as I usually will do. Uh, I'd like to talk about the last couple episodes, kind of give those a plug that you guys can check out. If you actually go back to October 6th, episode 92, uh, talked a little bit about branding, you know, how branding survives recessions, how branding can really get you through difficult economic times. I think just personally speaking, I'm not an economist, uh, but living in the United States and just seeing the news, hearing the news, watching things ground level financially, it just feels like there's something bad coming around the corner economically. So, you know, if you're not branding yourself, you're going to have a really, really, really difficult time in a recession or some kind of economic downturn where just straight up selling doesn't get the job done. Uh, so that's kind of what episode 92 is about. You can check that out if you guys get a chance. Um, episode 93 came out the next day, October 7th. Uh, actually kind of jumped on some breaking news from October 6th which was a uh, Twitter kind of, uh, you know, putting this, this uh, new update out there that kind of leapfrogged them into the conversation with TikTok and Instagram Reels and, and uh, YouTube Shorts, uh, where, they, where they now allow you to post four multimedia images at a time, and they can uh, be of different types. So you can have videos, you can have pictures, you can have GIFs, all types of stuff in there. So, um, so basically, um, you know, something that I think uh, you guys can check out if you're, if you're on Twitter, you can really kind of get maybe some ideas in there uh, from that episode on how to use it more or use it, you know, more robustly than you are today. If you're not on Twitter, it might actually entice you to open an account there and, and start spreading your, your message and your business uh, marketing out to that platform. So those two items out of the way, here we are in episode 94 as we sort of scream towards our century mark, our episode 100, which of course will occur sometime in November. Um, what I want to talk to you guys about today, uh, very briefly, is the notion of, and this kind of goes to the series that came out, I believe it was in late January, early February, the No Like, and Trust sequence. Uh, we went through all three parts of that, uh, episode 31, 32, 33, um, really went in depth, went really, you know, in, in, in a deep well kind of way about how you get people to know you, how you get people to like you, how you get people to trust you. And I think... You know, a, a spin on that that I'd want to throw out there for you guys today is literally kind of documenting your process. Okay, document your process. Now, I know you guys have heard that before. I've heard a lot of people say that phrase. Uh, there's an online personality that I follow uh, who happens to be involved in a bunch of different businesses. I mean, he's really branded himself and marketed himself really, really well. Uh, but an individual down in Atlanta, Georgia, here in the States, uh, goes by CEO Matty J, uh, or I just refer to him as Matty. Um, he has done an outstanding job of, at least in my opinion, as I've followed his content, in making a compelling case for documenting your process. Like taking even down to the, to the granular details, the things that you don't necessarily think are important or, or interesting or attractive to your audience, but documenting them, like really showing how you're navigating your business journey, your business process. And, you know, it may not occur to you immediately when you hear that, but what you're really accomplishing when you do that sort of thing is you are providing the big T word, transparency, right? The more you're documenting, the more you're showing off what's happening in your business, how you're navigating through your business experience of running your business, of growing your business, of starting your business, you are delivering a layer of, or, or a, a level, excuse me, of transparency to your audience because you're sort of like opening the curtain, right? You're saying, hey, I'm not just a front-facing business that's trying to sell you something. 
I'm actually showing you behind the scenes how I am running and building and developing this business. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm down to the morning routine. I'm, I'm showing the cup of coffee I make in the morning. I'm showing you, you know, what I eat for lunch every day. You know, I'm showing you how I built a certain spreadsheet that's helping me track a certain metric in my business. You know, there's value there that you can take and go off and make the same spreadsheet on your own. Or, you know, maybe you enlist my services because you like the way I did it and you want to save time, right? Like you're, 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 you're literally drilling down into all these little different pieces of your business and you're showing them to your audience, right? And you're showing them how things work. So if I'm a potential user or customer of your business, I start to like lose this notion that maybe you have something to hide or maybe you're just trying to sell me or maybe you're just trying to pitch me or you know, I, I don't know who you are, so I can't trust you or whatever. I start to break that down, start to remove uh, those issues that, that could stand between me and that customer. And I never reach out to them. I never sell them, quote unquote. I pull them in with that branded kind of transparency, right? So I think, you know, consider somebody who's just starting a business. Let's say you're listening to this podcast. You're about to start a business. You started it last week. You know, you're, you're really right there at the beginning. I would highly encourage you, since you're not even in a bad habit of not doing this yet, to just turn the cameras on. Just start, you know, literally and figuratively. Start documenting everything you do. You know, what are you doing about your, the admin side of your business? What are you doing about the accounting and bookkeeping side of your business? What are you, who's doing your taxes? How are you getting your taxes done for the business? What kind of tax returns are you doing for your business? Um, what kind of marketing are you doing for your business and how are you approaching that? What kind of advertising are you doing, promotional stuff that you're doing? It's very, very counterintuitive, I think, to a traditional business mind to share all this information and to be this open about how you're doing stuff. And of course, there are certain things proprietary information, intellectual property, things of that nature that you more than likely will not share unless you really want to go way towards the end of the plank. Uh, you can do that. But yes, there are, of course there are things you would potentially withhold in, in the uh, exercise that I'm talking about. But largely speaking, the things that you think are just too boring, too mundane, too day-to-day, -to -day, too, too unexceptional, they are exceptional to somebody on the outside. It's hard for you to imagine that anybody who's in their business, even if you just started it, even if you've had it for 10 years, whatever the case may be, you're inside the business. And none of the things you do probably feels very, you know, impactful or, 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 or melodramatic or anything. It just feels like you're running your business. You're just kind of, you're just kind of, you're battling your way through your daily tasks, your daily, you know, your weekly, your weekly uh, goals, your monthly strategies, whatever the case might be. But if you pull that curtain back and you start putting some of these things on display without even realizing you're doing it, you're pulling that consumer closer to you. You become, you're creating a more intimate look at your business. You know, look behind the scenes. Look at what I'm doing to build and grow and project this business. And again, you, you sort of end up with two results here, I think. You could have a potential customer who's like, wow, now I, I, I really have built a liking for and a trust factor for Chris, the business owner. And because of that, when I'm ready to buy this thing, whether it's today or in a year or in a decade, he is the person I'm going to think of because he's been documenting his process, because he's been showing me everything that's going on in his business. He's just super transparent. He couldn't possibly be trying to pull the wool over my eyes. He couldn't possibly be trying to obfuscate something. He's so open about everything, he's, he's trustworthy. So I'm going to move into that, into that business's orbit and become a, a client of theirs or a customer of theirs, right? At the same time that you're developing that audience from, being, you know, from documenting your process, from, from, from being super transparent, on the other side, you've got people who may be, let's say, in your business or around your business or want to be in your business who now see you as an authority who now see you as an expert, who now think, you know, and, and, it, and it could result in a lot of different thoughts. It could be like, hey, I need to learn from this individual. Hey, I need to team with this individual. Hey, I don't want to compete with this individual. I mean, it could be a lot of uh, outcomes there, right? But you're also talking to, when you do this kind of thing, when you document the process, when you 
put these things on camera, when you put these things on audio tape, and you get all this content out there, you create a situation where people just can't doubt your veracity, right? And, and so they can't doubt it whether they're a client slash customer, or they can't doubt it if they're in your space, or they want to get into your space as a business owner themselves, or they want to, you know, they want to team with you or compete with you or whatever the case might be. So you have a whole other audience that organically grows from doing this, that just kind of springs up out of the ground, and you know, proverbially speaking, and becomes a whole other garden, if you will, that you can water with that content, that you can nurture and you can bring along uh, by just releasing the content, being transparent, showing what you're doing. You know, and, and, and just choose your format to match this. You know, like if, if you're into like quick hit thoughts, if you're like, hey, I, I watched a great YouTube video, I wanna share it with everybody. Hey, I, I found a new way of doing this spreadsheet that I wanna show everybody in 45 seconds. Like think about how you primarily communicate and then that's your platform. That's probably your primary mode of delivery. So if you're doing quick hit videos like that, go to YouTube Shorts, go to TikTok, go to Instagram Reels. If you're into more tutorials, if you're into more like, hey, I like to show my screen, I like to walk people through stuff because I wanna show them how my business is really you know, operating and how I perform certain functions and tasks. Maybe I really wanna to speak to my consumer and show them how knowledgeable I am. Okay, now you've got longer form videos. Now you have a YouTube channel. Now you have a Facebook watch page, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, maybe, maybe you're posting those videos on LinkedIn and you're going B2B on LinkedIn with those videos. So when you make the commitment to documenting the process and to being transparent and to using that as your content marketing backbone strategy, then the next thing you, you want to do is find a suitable delivery mechanism for it. You know, I think video is the most powerful. Audio can be powerful. I think text is the least powerful. So what we're really talking about here, guys, whether you like it or not, is getting behind the camera. You know, getting, getting some things recorded, getting some videos and some, some, dynamic, some dynamic material like that, some things that are going to, um, you know, really put on display uh, in, in ways that, you know, show your face, show your, you know, uh, let people hear your voice. Uh, gain an intimacy and a comfortability with you that you're not going to get any other way. That's why I think it really does come down to video, guys. But I really, really think, you know, not to belabor this point too much longer, we've, we've already gone over 10 minutes. Um, I, I think, guys, that's kind of what you're looking at here. It's, it's kind of like a three-stage thing. It's like, number one, committing to, I'm going to document this process. I'm going to, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to open up the curtain. I do think it's a little bit easier if you're a brand new business to just immediately weave that into your culture and start that from essentially day one. And if you've been in business for five or 10 or 15 years, it might be a little bit harder to inculcate that into your culture of your business, but it's still doable. It's sort of a mindset shift. But that's really step one is, is embracing this and believing in it and saying, yes, I want to improve transparency. I know that transparency can create branding effects for me and I want that and I believe in that. Okay. Then you kind of move to step two. And once you've done that, then you're sort of committing to format. And you're saying, okay, you know, I'm going to do video or maybe it's going to be audio, but you should be doing video in my opinion. But also within video, it's like, what kind? Like, is it, you know, is it one minute clips? Is it, you know, medium length format videos, like five to 10 minutes? Is it long tutorials? You know, you know, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, you know, like, like, you know, 45 minutes, 60 minutes sharing your screen, you know, really building a knowledge base kind of effect. Like, Hey, look at all this stuff. I know, look at all these things I can do for your, for, uh, for you as a customer, whatever the case may be, but you got to decide what kind of video content in this particular example you're going to be able to produce the most fluidly, frictionlessly, effectively, that kind of thing, right? So you decide that format and, 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 and all those types of particulars. And then you're in kind of a third stage of, okay, where are you going to put, you know, what channels are going to be your primary channels for conveying this information? If you've listened to the podcast for a while, you know that we would advocate that you have sort of a central main channel and then you would kind of radiate from there. So you would say, okay, I'm gonna do a lot of short, quick hit videos, probably less than a minute long. Okay, YouTube's your channel. Go to YouTube Shorts, pump out a bunch of shorts. Oh, by the way, if you've got a bunch of short clips like that, you might as well throw them on TikTok, you might as well throw them on Instagram Reels, right? If you said, oh, Chris, I'm probably gonna be doing like explanatory videos, you know, five to 10 minutes, just kind of talking about different aspects of my business, talk about my day, talk about what I did today, things like that, I'd say, okay, you could do the YouTube channel or you could do like a Facebook watch, you know, go over and start a Facebook watch page and, and you know, kind of get that, 
you know, feed going um, and bring people in over there. And then you could take those videos and also plunk them down on YouTube and also plunk them down onto uh, maybe if you have like the 10 minute format available on TikTok, you can put them there too. But you want to kind of decide what's your hub, like where are you really going to like immediately publish these things to and really kind of make native content, contextual content. And then you can go ahead and um, spread it out from there to other platforms. Okay, guys. So think about it that way. One, two, three, like that. Uh, we will definitely have more episodes about, you know, how, how we might attack this from a format standpoint, from a platform standpoint, things like that. Other ideas on how you can document your process, what types of things you can show. Again, be more than just business. Be personal. I wasn't joking before when I said, you know, show the coffee in the morning. Show the lunch that you eat every day because that's, your, that's, your, that's the way you gain efficiency by eating lunch every day, the same thing every single day, and you, you don't have to think about it or whatever. You know, uh, you, you wear the same outfit every day at work, so you don't have to think about what you wear. You know, whatever the case may be. These type of things show people you're a human being, you're a real person, you're not just trying to sell something and cram it down their throat. You actually care about them. You actually want to deliver value. You actually are a functioning human being who has, you know, happens to have a business that you're operating. Okay? So, that being said, guys, super appreciate you guys checking in on episode 94 today. Um, uh, definitely uh, check us out online, Facebook, LinkedIn, type in Transform. Go to the website, transform.com. And, of course, please follow us here on the podcast um, uh, as well. So with that being said, guys, hope everybody kind of gets through the middle of the week. Uh, Episode 95, look for that. Probably Thursday or Friday that will publish. Um, We'll get you guys back on track with two episodes this week as we head towards 100 episodes. All right, guys, thank you so much. Hope everybody has a great night, and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.